Hi guys. Um, tonight I'm going to do the uh, Drayton Manor top ten. So I'm going to flip the screen round and look at the uh, monitor. Now this might not what be some of you would be expect to be in the top ten, but with the year we've had and the heat of this year. And the all-round fun of it, you know, it has made it into the top 10 rides at Drayton Manor. So, without any further ado, number 10, Captain's Sea Adventure. And basically, uh, it's a ride that, you know, little kids can go on with adults. And uh, there you are, uh, if you can see it on there. And basically, it's a ride where you can... There's four of you in a boat, and you can soak the other boats with water. And I'll tell you this much, it's the greatest fun you'll ever have on a hot day. You know, and you get people on the outside, they can soak you as well. And I'll tell you what, it's absolutely immense. Some of the little kids do cry, so, you know, if you are on the ride, try not to blast it at the little kids. Uh, obviously, adults and uh, bigger kids, it's all fair game. But, yeah that is number 10 absolutely awesome ride number nine troublesome trucks runaway coaster opened in 2008 capacity of 20 people and uh, there's some videos of it i'm glad to see that um Yep, there it shows you. I'm glad to see that Drayton Manor on their sites have actually got photos and videos showing you the rides. Because it's it's all about me telling you about the ride, because I know the ride. But if you haven't seen the ride, it's a great... It, you get two passes, so you get two loops of the circuit. It's not a massive ride, but it is a good little family roller coaster. You can see they're going up the lift hill there. Brilliant. Good little family coaster. Great views of the Earl of Thomas Land. Got some real poke to it as well. Awesome. Next one on the list. Pandemonium. Opened in 2004. 25 metres high it goes. 64 maximum ride capacity. Got to be 1.4 metres to ride it. And obviously there it is there. With the two arms that swing up and swing over. Got a picture of the big wheel there that's not even there anymore. And uh, yeah, that's it. Good ride, good thrill ride. Um, obviously, make sure you lock all your money up before you go on the ride. Otherwise, you're going to have things falling out of your pocket. But yeah, good ride. It recently refurbished. Uh, came back online this year. Good ride for the park. Next on the list, G-Force, the only ex-car coaster in the UK. Opened in 2005, it's got three inversions and a rare coaster element, a bent Cuban 8. Sadly, it's not online today and it wasn't online when we went for three days uh, the other week. Uh, I'm not sure if there's issues with it or what, but it is, you know, number 8. Or seven, shall I say, on the list. <laughs> Open 2005, height of 82 feet, speed of 43 mile an hour, only 45 second duration. Does have a good queue though, so you know you have to watch that queue. And there you see it on there. You go down a bit further so you can see the whole picture. Yeah, let's take you for a little ride courtesy of uh, Drayton Manor's YouTube video. And there you go, you know. There's the first inversion, it drags you around really slowly. If you can see that on the camera, he's looking around. It must be a reasonably new uh, video as well because the air rides in the background. Now, I like Drayton Manor because it has 
it has the fantastic Thomas Land, which has some good rides for adults as well as kids. Don't let it, don't be fooled that it's just for little ones. Some of them rides are good family rides for adults as well. And there you have it, that's G-Force. So number six on the list, the former Ben 10 ride, Accelerator, the Vacoma uh, Junior Boomerang. Quite a few Junior Boomerangs in the country. But this, you know, it's got some poke for what it is. And uh, it's just been re-themed as Accelerator. And I'm not sure if there's a video here to show you. But yeah, you go, that, that takes you back up. And fantastic little roller coaster. It, you know, it's, it's, check, it's, it's blueprint is really small. But uh, pulls you back, sends you through the ride station, you go round in a loop, you don't go, no inversions. And then you go back up the hill. And then you go backwards on yourself again. Awesome little coaster. Great family coaster. And, you know, good addition to the park. What can we say? Apocalypse. Britain's uh, best drop tower. Uh, people like Sean Sandbuck of uh, Theme Park Worldwide rate it as the best, you know, one of the best in the world. Even though it isn't that height. The year of opening was 2000, height of ride 54 metres, 177 feet, free fall time 4 seconds and I tell you what, when you're on that ride, by God, it's uh, it's got some poke to it as you're going down. 50 miles an hour the speed, 4 riders per row. The ride was opened by Gilban Bewitch, the tower has 5 sides, cars are winched to the top of the tower and then they free fall. You've got to sit down and stand up. And there you have it. And uh, here we go. It's this little video of it here. It's a one minute video. So there you are. You're starting to go up. And uh, the video is a bit strange. But yeah, a bit of an old video. And there you are, you're lifting up, and I tell you what, when you're looking out, the, the look of the, the view is fantastic. But that drop, wow, does it get you. There you are, you're just near the top now, and then, one, two, three, go. That doesn't seem fast on there. Once you get on the ride, you'd realise how fast it is. Storm Force 10. It's uh, like a log flume, but not, you know, um, a fantastic uh, water ride. Opened in 1999. 17 boats, maximum capacity. Height restriction of 1.2 metres. And we haven't got any videos here for you. But you've got the, the you've got, I think it's three drops. The second drop is the backward drop, and that's the soaker. That really gets you. Uh, and the last drop's a bit of a soaker as well. But yeah, fantastic water ride. A, fan a great addition. Great to see it back online last this year. It was out of commission last year. As was... Um, oh, brother, I forgot his name there. The flat ride from a minute ago. And as was uh, Rapids, which is still out of commission for, for reasons that I'm not going to go into. So... Number three on the list, Shockwave. Originally called 7-Up Shockwave, it's Europe's first Intamin stand-up roller coaster and still only one of two in Europe. Uh, opened in 1994, stand-up roller coaster with a zero gravity roll. Was voted best stand-up roller coaster in the world. Uh, and again, there's not many of them, it's going to be, isn't it? Uh, year of opening 1994, like I said, height of ride 120 feet, speed 85 kilometres per hour, four riders per row, duration two minutes. One thing for this that you must note, when you're a bloke, sort out your, when you get on the ride, you can actually sit down, you don't have to stand up, you can sit down. Um, but when you're standing up, just position that bar, that, the seat bit, make sure that it's not imposing otherwise 
for blokes especially, you know, your bits in the middle are going to be suffering if you don't position it right. I didn't one year, and boy, did I get off the rider in pain. Last time I went on it, I was already wary of it. Went on it, and uh, I was a much better ride. So, a little video here. And you can see going up the lift hill. Looks like we're on the red uh, train. There's a blue train as well as a red train. I'd love to see an in inverted train, I would go backwards. be fantastic. Now you're asking me, you might be asking, why is the roller coaster only in the third? That's because there are two flat rides that top it. So it goes quite slowly there, and then the speed it gets up, you know. Fantastic. Through the loop. Then the roll. And another roll. And another roll. It's all over reasonably quick. But still. A good roller coaster. And back into the station. Awesome. So, number two on the list. Air Race. Wow. Um, this really spins you around to the max. Opened in 2014. Um, air race section on a thrilling ride leaves your head spinning, and it does as well. You know, the amount of times it turns around. It's not one of these you have to mess about doing it yourself, it does it all for you. You experience 4G on this ride. You know, it really is. There, you can see it there, and uh, yeah. They go, they go high, they, they go round and round, and uh, fantastic ride. The only thing I think about it is you can hear it creaking, and whether that's just natural creaking or what, but it don't half put the wind up me when I'm on it. But yep, yeah, very good ride. I mean, even my little and 1.2 meters can get on it, and a uh, little bit, little bit too much for him, mind you. So we're down to number one. What is the best ride at, all, at Drayton Manor? And it has to be Maelstrom. Absolute fantastic. Opened in 2002. 22 and a half metre high. 32 riders um, at any one time. It's a stomach churning, head turning, gyro swing. And uh, you, you rotate as you're going from... It's like a pirate ship that rotates as well and goes blooming high. The, you know, the forces you get on it are absolutely amazing, and uh, to, for me, one of the best flat rides in the UK. There you can see it with G-force in the background, and it, it, yeah, it looks like a pirate ship, but it swings as well, and the forces, fantastic. One of the best rides, and that is it. That's my top ten of Drayton Manor rides. If you agree, you know, make a comment. If you don't agree, make a comment as well. I'd love to know what others think, you know. Uh, it's interesting to see, you know, where you would place your top ten, what you wouldn't have, what you would have. And uh, if you're that, you know, if you're interested, please subscribe and uh, join in the fun. Thanks for watching. See you soon.